Hey, what's poppin'? Boys, girls, and everybody in between and otherwise. My name's Adrian. Welcome back to Life Faith Adrian. Now, I actually already filmed this video, but apparently my memory card just went to shit and I have a lot of stuff on it. So we're gonna hope that some of it's still there, but I'm mad, so yeah. Anyways, today we're gonna be doing unpopular opinions. Some of my most unpopular opinions that I know I have because I've gotten in arguments with my friends over it. Not trying to offend anybody, but without further ado, let's get into this video because I don't want to have to deal with that memory card issue again. My first unpopular opinion, and just remember, these are opinions, please don't come for me, is that I'm not the biggest fan of Disney princess movies. And I know, I know, I know, everyone loves them, they're great, and you know what? I've been to Disney World. I loved Disney World. However, even as a kid, my mom would try and put the Disney princess movies on, and I just would tell her, ew, turn it off. Oh no, I just, I was never into them. I'm still not. My friends all try and force me to watch them. I just, I don't really like them. I don't know why. It was only the other day when I watched part of Mulan for the first time. And I've actually never seen an original Disney princess movie in full, like never. Don't even know half of the stories. Don't come for me. Another unpopular opinion I have is that I don't really dislike Bella Thorne. I don't really have anything against her. I don't know if she said something inappropriate or disrespectful, and that's why everyone hates her, but I don't have anything against her. I think she's pretty chill. You know, I've never met her, but I think as a celebrity, she seems pretty chill and whatnot. And I know that cheating thing was absolutely terrible. I understand, I disagree with that. But other than that, I don't really know how I feel about her. I just, I know I don't dislike her. However, and I know some of you are gonna get very mad with this. I'm not the biggest fan of Beyonce. And before you yell at me, just wait, okay? I think she's very talented. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's probably a great mother and a great person and humanitarian. Overall, I think she's good. I'm not a fan of her music. I don't really like her music. I like some weird music like Panic at the Disco, stuff like that. And so her music's just not for me. But I, I do think she's very great as a person and talented. Another unpopular opinion I have is that Connie is a genius. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> I can't even say that one with a straight face. It's so, I, I fucking hate Kanye. Slavery was not a choice, bitch. Another unpopular opinion I have is regarding that blue and black dress that, you know, debate that killed everybody. I still think it's white and gold. I can't see it any other way. People are telling me, no, 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 the original dress, that shit's black and blue. Well, fuck you, I don't see it. I'm so mad, because I can't see it any other way than white and gold, okay? Okay. That's just my opinion. I refuse to believe otherwise. Fuck you. And the same thing with the Yanny and Laurel. In the morning, I put in my earbuds, I listen to this, and I'm like, oh, I hear Yanny. Then, in the afternoon, I fucking listen to it again, and I hear Laurel, okay? I, ASAP Science explained it very well, but I'm still frustrated. Another big controversial debate is if water is wet. Water's wet, okay? Let me explain. The definition of wet is to cover something in water or another liquid, okay? I checked the dictionary. That's what it means. You're like, oh, how can water be covered in water? Like this, listen. Water is H2O, basically. So in like this cup right here, it's not just one water molecule. It's not one H2O, it's multiple. You have one water molecule, one H2O, covering another H2O with another water molecule, with another water molecule, with another water molecule. They're all covering that one water molecule. They're all covering each other, in fact. And guess what? Water, water, H2O, is covering water. Therefore, it's wet. Fight me on this. I told you don't come for me, but you know what? Come for me on this. Come for me. I don't care. I will whip out chemistry. Fight me. Another unpopular opinion I have is that I don't like junk food. And everyone's like, oh, she's some weird vegan that eats f***ing kale and grass. No, no, I, no. You know, I like pizza and stuff, but I can't stand like fast food, like burgers, just any fast food in general, but more specifically, I don't like junk food like cake or cupcakes or chips, or I don't even like a lot of chocolate. Like I would rather a good salad over a Kit Kat any day of the week, any day, like 
I would rather eat salad than anything else that came from junk food. Like, I just, I can't stand junk food. Not at all. And no disrespect to Wendy's because you guys are f***ing A1 on Twitter. I just, I don't like you. I don't like Burger King. I don't like McDonald's. I don't like any other fast food joint. I just, it makes me sick when I eat it. Another thing is I don't like wings. I know, wait, it's not even like fast food wings. I don't like regular wings that you like make at home. Like I just, it makes me sick. I'll eat it. And then the next day I wake up, I'm like, why do I have to puke? And that's just that opinion. Uh, it's not even an opinion, it's a fact. I feel like puking whenever I think of wings. Sorry. I promised myself when I started this channel that I wouldn't get political, but I'm gonna be disagreeing with a lot of Americans and a lot of American politicians. Gun control is needed in the US, okay? Okay. I know y'all love your f***ing right to bear arms. You think you should be allowed and whatnot. It's in your constitution. But let me show you some facts. Okay. So I took a few of the most, you know, kind of closest to the US countries like Canada, UK, France, Germany, Italy, Australia, and I combined them all together and they all together equaled about 334 million in population. The US is about 325 million in population. And um and I searched up how many school shootings have each of those countries had in the last 10 years and I combined them. Out of six countries in total in the last 10 years, they've had six school shootings. Five of which were in Canada and a few of them, no one even got hurt. Like literally they just had an argument in a parking lot and that was the school shooting. Six in six countries in the last 10 years. That's pretty good. And you know what all of these countries have in common? They all have gun laws, especially gun laws that are stricter than the US. The amount of school shootings that the US has had in the last 10 years is 219. And someone's gonna be like, oh, well, you know, they just have more people than Canada or Great Britain and stuff. But I combine their populations. It's more than the US's population. And they still had less school shootings. Like. I know I wasn't gonna get political. I don't, not gonna say much, but you know, when children, not just people, children were trying to get an education or dying, I I can't not say something. Like it, it, it makes me mad. It makes me mad. And I know this channel's fun and games, but if 219 school shootings doesn't bother you, what the hell is the matter with you? That's 219 too many. It's 218 that could have been prevented had they had stricter gun laws to begin with. But no, now they have to suffer. I'm just, I, who let a f***ing Cheeto run the states? And I'm not saying it's necessarily his fault that all of them are happening. I'm just saying that all of the politicians need to start agreeing that school shootings shouldn't be f***ing happening this much. Or at all, but let alone this much. I understand when people are like, oh, Americans like hunting, they like the right to bear arms. Okay, you know what? Maybe the Santa Fe school shooting wasn't the best option because he had a shotgun and it was not his and it was still illegal. But the other school shootings, some of their guns were legal. Who? One of them was an AR-15 assault rifle. That thing can kill like 30 people in a minute. Who needs that? For what protection? Someone's gonna break into your house and you're just gonna shoot them 30 times over? Like what? I'm just, uh, that bothers me a lot. <laughs> 219. And I'm saying about 219. Because when I was counting on the Wikipedia list, I probably miscounted because there were so f***ing many. It bothers me. It should bother you too. It doesn't. I don't know what will. I'm gonna include a link to a petition to enforce gun laws in the US. I'm not American, so... I mean, I don't know how much of a right I have to say this, but I think when people my age are dying, I kind of do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna post a link to a petition in the description box below if you believe in this, if you believe that the US should start getting their shit together so kids stop dying, sign it, please. Just make something happen because prayers aren't enough anymore. Prayers aren't gonna stop people from shooting other people. On a lighter note, <laughs> um, Thank you to California Apparel for giving me and you a discount code. Um, California Apparel is a Canadian brand and they make some A1 premium clothing. They have really sick and like nice designs, very chic. Is that the right word? I don't know. But it's very like modern and like, and I actually like really like their styles. And 
you guys get a discount if you use my code Adriana P6420. I'll leave it in the description box below. You can get 20% off if you use that. Do it. It's worth it. Honestly, like the clothing is beautiful. It's really good. It's like something I'd wear on a daily basis. So yeah, if you want to do that, check out the description box below, click on the link, use my code. You're good. You're going to have a good day. Good. You're welcome. Got you. Anyways, there may or may not be a video next week. I don't know for sure because I'm going away for the weekend to some school leadership thing and it's culminating season. If you don't know what culminating is, it's basically six weeks and eight major projects worth 15% of our grades or 30, depending if we even examine that class. Yep, I have eight of them. So I'm pretty busy and um, yeah, might not be a video, sorry. I'll try and put something out even if it's like bullshit. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Maybe.